When you're naming a binary substance, take for example one you already know, NaCl, you name the first element, in this case sodium, which you can look up in table E, and then the last element is just going to have you drop the last syllable, so chlorine, we're going to drop ene and change it to ide, sodium chloride. Another example, if you were given this formula, even though there's more than two atoms in it because of the subscript on the chlorine, it's still considered a binary compound. There's only two elements, calcium and chlorine. So once again, we're going to name the first one calcium. And then for the chlorine, again, we're going to drop the last syllable, the ene, and change it to ide. Let's do another example. For this one, I'm going to use a different nonmetal. Here's our metal, and here's our nonmetal, and then I'm just going to put in these subscripts. Okay, so again, it's still binary because there's only two elements. We name the first one, that is magnesium. And then phosphorus, Instead of being phosphorus, we're going to drop off the O-U-S and we're going to change it. Actually, and this is where this one gets weird, it, it becomes phosphide. It's not phosphoride. That's one of the reasons I wanted to show you that one. No one's going to mark you wrong, though, if you said phosphoride, as long as you changed it to ide. So let's do another one. Uh, we'll do K2S. K is potassium. So we name the first, and then we're going to change sulfur to sulfide. The more examples of this that you do, the better you will get at this. Um, so let's do one more. We'll do LIF. LI is lithium, so you just name the first. And then fluorine becomes fluoride. And that's all there is to it.